Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're gonna get into the second quarter of the year outlook for Libra. This is gonna be for April, May, and June. And this is going to be a general outlook, so we don't know what it's going to be about. It could be about love or career. It can look into whatever area of your life that the message is meant to be about, right? So we won't know until we pull the cards out. It's going to be a full Celtic spread, and then I will pull some extra cards uh, to clarify some of those cards. And then we're going to get right into it, all right, guys? So this is for Libra, for April, May, and June, what you may or may not be going through, what your situation may or may not be, all right? But you're here watching now for sure, right? And so something has drawn you to this reading for a reason, and so let's just see if it applies. The Hermit. Covered by the Fool is your center energy. We have Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords. We have the King of Cups coming in and coming out. We have the Five of Pentacles. Seven of Cups matched with the Two of Cups. Ace of Cups, wow. And the Knight of Wands. Bottom of the deck we have the world card. All right, so I'm going to adjust my camera. So there we have it. All right, guys, all uh, zoomed out so you can see everything. At the center, you have Libra the Hermit covered by the Fool. So wow, this is very interesting, but you have a lot of lover cards here coming in. And uh, certainly some changes and some movement coming in. So let's get right into it. Um, the center of this period, right, your main energy is hermit energy. You're covered with the fool. So this is, of course, making some sense, right? Because right now, the way things are going, the way everything is happening in the world, this next period of April, May, June is going to be a real hermited period for you. And it's going to be something very new for you, certainly with this full energy coming in. This is going to feel like a time that is a whole new sort of, I'm going to say an adventure in a way, okay? Because of course, um, yes, everyone is struggling right now, but there is a positive feeling to this coming through with the full. Because the full, of course, it talks about a leap of faith, but generally... Um, it's, it's, it is an adventure in as much as when the fool comes in, you're starting a new stage in your life that is going to really lead to something. So although this period may indeed be temporary, um, due to outside influences or way things are going and we're forced to sort of be inside, but it's opening up the door to a whole new stage in your life with this full energy. And so in this way, it is an adventure. You're coming in with strong swords energy this period, Libra, and that makes perfect sense, you being an air sign, ten of swords at the conscious level, and in your subconscious, you have six of swords. Swords. So in your conscious, meaning your the focus, the forefront of your mind, you're really thinking about um, this kind of last experience you're having being sort of the final straw. There's something happening inside of you that's kind of, I want to say it's breaking, but it's breaking in such a way that you can't be hurt anymore. You're resonating up. Ten of Swords is the end of a long period of struggling. There's usually a final act, right? A final blow that marks the end of it, right? And so this, there could be, most recently may have been a blow that you suffered. But now you're in this stage of it's over now. You're about to be out of a period of your life where you probably have had to Rebuild yourself a lot of times. Ten of Swords talks about taking a lot of knocks to the ego, a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of difficult times, right? A lot of struggling, Swords energy, you know, a lot of sort of trying to have to come up with solutions to problems, dealing with sort of combative energies, which can also be Swords energy. So, you know, dealing with that and coming out of that into a new stage in your life where you're much stronger, your ego is smaller, you can't be as hurt as you were before. And then your subconscious, you're resonating with a six of swords. And six of swords is that feeling of really wanting to finally move away. So some of you are wanting to move altogether or just turn your back from a certain type of lifestyle, I think, that you've been living. Maybe even an environment that you've been dealing with or living in. 
It's just this feeling of turning away from strife and struggling and arguing, right? Turning away from, you know, sometimes we find ourselves living these lives and we have a certain social group and a certain way we're living and we realize we're just not happy. Like we don't like our friends. All of our friends are assholes. We don't like the way we're living. You know what I mean? We're just living in this environment that we've created around ourselves that we're not thriving in. We're not actually very happy and we find ourselves always at odds with people or fighting with people, not at the same mentality, you know, level with those around you. And Six of Swords is, is that feeling sometimes of waking up and realizing, you know what, this is for the birds. I need to like live the type of life I want to live that makes me happy where I'm around the type of people I'm happy with. This isn't a judgment call. This is about what you attract. You know, and it's like you can be surrounded by a certain sort of group of people or environment, work environment, whatever, or living environment that it just isn't conducive for you. And so there's this feeling in your subconscious and in the back of your mind that you're thinking about that a lot during this period. So I think you're going to be very meditative during April, May and June about how you're wanting, how you want to live your life going forward, right? Um, I think this is going to be a real f feeling of self-realization for you, this period, Libra. King of Cups, Five of Pentacles. So you come into the period with a King of Cups energy. This is quite interesting. It could be... Um, you do have a desire to uh, lock down a relationship, I want to say, or a connection with someone. The King of Cups is very much sort of like the hunter. He is sort of the husband. Right. He's the one who really uh, takes charge of the relationship in a sense of, you know, uh, oftentimes he's the one who hunts for the person they want to be with because he knows who he wants to be with. And he sets the tone for the type of relationship. It's that dominant energy in a relationship. So this is interesting. You could be resonating with this or could have been resonating with this. You may still be resonating with this in a sense that you are also on uh, a journey to find love because just because you're in and also doing a lot of this internal work here, this doesn't necessarily mean this is also like your love life attitude that you're hermiting away from your love life. This is a stage that you're going through about your life in general, who you are as an individual. Along with this, you've come into this period, I think with a desire and a focus sort of on wanting to uh, find a love connection or be in a love connection. And this is something you're really desiring. You're coming in with this energy. Uh, coming out of this period, there's a five of pentacles. So this is a feeling of really struggling. There may be some struggling coming up ahead for you financially, Libra. And take heat, not heat so much, but take, I want to say, comfort. Take comfort in understanding that five of pentacles is certainly one of these situations where you may be finding yourself in a financial situation that's a bit of a bind or a stress you may be finding yourself having to rebuild from a real heavy financial blow. Um, sometimes this can indeed indicate health as well. You may be dealing with health issues that you're recovering from. But in any case, the Five of Pentacles is a very sort of temporary period of struggling. It almost always uh, leads to a period of opening up doors, having many more new opportunities than you would have had before you entered into the struggle. So it's a very much... Uh, you know, a learning by going through the struggle and really coming out of it much better. All life, you know, all evolution and, and including spiritual evolution, all of it is about a uh, desire and struggle. You know, we are put in certain struggles that we desire to overcome and that desire forces us to evolve and to have certain experiences. So in all struggles, you really have to uh, see the value in them because there is always an opportunity to transcend. And Five of Pentacles is one of those energies. Now you do come into the month. Let's see, these are your cards of how you're coming into the month, your attitude towards this period and what meets you. So again, your attitude towards this period is again, back to cups energy. And so you are coming into this period um, with an attitude of being quite idealistic about finding love. You have this real sort of uh, wish, I want to say, this kind of faith. You are really daydreaming about the perfect sort of relationship or the thing that you want in your life that will make you happy coming in. Now, Seven of Cups can be a real kind of daydreamy 
wishing, you know, being caught up in your head. Sometimes it can be a little bit unrealistic. You may be having unrealistic expectations, but it can, there's, you know, it's a spectrum card in the sense that, yeah, it can be, uh, you can be in a space where you're doing too much of it and you're really not getting anything done on the ground towards your wish, right? Or it can just be having that desire. So I feel that's what it is for you, Libra. I feel you're just coming into this period just with a general kind of sensitive, very romantic, daydreaming sort of attitude towards finding love because you're clearly here having your, your focus. Part of your energy is definitely focused on wanting to be in a love connection, in a particular kind of love connection that you have your eye on. And I don't necessarily mean a particular person, although you may have your eye on a particular person already, but I do mean certainly at least uh, orientating your focus towards being with somebody and the type of relationship you're looking for, right? If you haven't had found the person themselves yet, you know which you know what kind of relationship you're looking for. And so this month you are going to be having a lot of attitude of that. You're going to be feeling very sort of like wishful. You may also be feeling quite romantic in general. Now, this also depends on how much you do on the ground. So if you are coming in with this attitude, you're getting met with a two of cups. So there's definitely a possibility for a love connection coming in for you. But this all depends on how much you energy you, on the ground you actually put towards these dreams. Seven of Cups can be a very healthy, inspirational card if you are also very grounded and willing to put the work into achieving these dreams and not getting just caught up in, you know, in your head about them, wishing that they appear, hoping that they appear. That's the, that's the trickiness with Seven of Cups. And that's the warning with this energy when it comes into a reading is that, you know, just be careful, remain grounded. If there's a certain type of relationship that you're really dreaming to have, make sure you're making efforts towards getting that relationship, whether that means, you know, going out or, you know, whatever avenues you take to socialize or to meet with people or, you know, right now you're in a hermited mode, right? So there can be a bit of wishful thinking right now during this period because you, you may not be able to physically actually get in touch with people or be around people. But yet you're coming into this period with this attitude and you are met with a two of cups. So for some of you, I think that's a very good um, energy indicating that there is a love connection for you out there. Coming through the reading, when we get to your position of wishes, hopes, and dreams, um, Ace of Cups comes in again. So again, you are really, during this period, part of your self-realization and working on yourself and being on your own. A lot of it is you really meditating on love, coming in, being in love, finding love. It's really something you desire. You know, it's really something you desire. And I think that it could very well be that you've been through a long, with Ten of Swords being here, this could also be for a Libra. Some of you Libras out there may have just come out of a very long period of not having love, of healing. You may have been healing, you know, and now this Ten of Swords could very well indicate the end of a period where uh, now you're, you're feeling the healing. Now you're getting back into yourself. It could have been part of this period of difficulty it could have been you not wanting to be around people. You not wanting to have love because you were still healing. You were still going through trauma or you were still, you know, working out the issues, right? Sometimes 10 of swords can also indicate the end of a long arduous process of also healing ourselves right? Uh, healing our wounds from this because now it's over. So sometimes now it's over and the healing begins and there's still a lot of a long period of difficulty or sometimes it ends and the healing has also begun towards the end and you're coming into this period a little bit more healthy. In either case, it feels to me like this uh, desire for love, it's coming from a very healthy place. It's not coming from a place where you've been just sort of waiting and pining away. It is coming from a healthy place. And it feels to me that it is part of a progressive move that you're making with this hermit energy because you are doing a lot of self-realization and good shadow work. The hermit always indicates looking inward. And whether it's a new thing for you with the fool or not, you are in the throes of it. And this is a reading for April, May, and June. So these are a lot of the energies that are going to be coming out for you for this period, Libra. 
okay? You're going to be having a lot of self-realization. A lot of that, and with that, may come a, a high degree of emotional health. Whether if you didn't have it before, it will come in. Or if you did have it before, it will just strengthen, right? Again, as long as you remain grounded here, and of course there is some area in your life, again, that I think was associated with this Ten of Swords time in your life, this is that is ending now, that of course caused you some struggling and some strife, right, and some battle wounds. Because in the back of your mind, you still have the Six of Swords, and before that Six of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, and that's a battle. Five of Swords is a battle we have with people that can be really wearing, you know what I mean? So certainly... Six of Swords generally comes in specifically in response to a period in our lives where we have had to struggle a lot or we have had a big battle with someone or something or society in some way. And it's like now it's over and it's time for us to just seek more harmonious pastures, right? So it's definitely a reading for a Libra who's come out of some difficult times in the past. Not that we all haven't had difficult times, but this reading is a direct response to that and to the good shadow work and self-realization you're going through. Here we go with your clarifiers. Six of Wands, more Six Energy. Six of Pentacles, more Six Energy. Harmony everywhere. The Magician coming in here and Temperance coming in there. So that's nice. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Prince of Swords. So more Swords Energy. And Knight of Swords, Prince of Swords are the same. And Knight of Swords here, we're talking about really, um, you know, taking Page of Swords energy to the next level. Now you're at the Knight. And the Knight of Swords is, is all about sort of really uh, physically working at cutting the binds that are holding us back. So there's a lot of things. It could be there were things holding you back in, in sort of finding love the way you want it. And this month, you're really going to be working on that. Prince of Swords, of course, talks about it being much more motiva motivated, uh, maintaining your self-esteem and confidence, and really cutting ties with things that bring your confidence down. So this Prince, Prince of Swords and Six of Swords makes a lot of sense because, again, Six of Swords here, I was saying to you earlier, is just the desire to move away from strife and struggling. And so Prince of Swords is also this very intentional sort of uh, severing of ties uh, in a positive way, right? Just cutting people loose or cutting ties to people, places, and things loose that uh, hold you back from this journey towards harmony. So these two cards are very complementary with each other in terms of energy because that Prince of Swords, Knight of Swords energy coming in is going to allow you to set yourself free from the things that tie you so that you can actually get your boat away and actually move forward and make that move. Here we have also six. I want to get back to that six of wands, but here we have again over that six of swords, six of pentacles. So finances are going to Certainly, um, I want to say stabilize and harmonize as you move away and get away. So if you worry about finances, if you're worried about finances, this five of pentacles here, you're obviously going through a financial difficulty. Moving and cutting these ties are going to are going to help you move through this five of pentacles period, this down period, this period of having, you know, some some, you know, I want to say chaotic financial stability, ups and downs, you know what I mean? You're not sure what's going to happen next. All of that will even out and move and resonate up to a much more stable position with this move that you're going to make here, which is why you have the Six of Pentacles confirming, okay? So for those of you who are deciding to move, maybe you're resonating with this and you have an option to move or move away from things or somehow everything that's going on, this hermiting that's happening, right, this real pulling away has offered you an uh, an unexpected opportunity and this opportunity is a is an opportunity to move away from the things that you have uh, been tied to or used to dealing with or involved in that have really been stopping you from your happiness. And now you have an opportunity to cut those ties and actually move away from them. And by doing so, you're going to find your financial stability increasing. This could be ties to all kinds of, you know, toxic behavior, environments, etc. Ten of Swords is confirmed with Six of Wands. So you have a victory. You are definitely experiencing a victory. Six of Wands is all about victory. It's another six. This is one, two, three. How many sixes do we have? So we have three sixes in this reading. I mean, that's a lot of um, harmony, 
right? So six of wands is a victory and a harmony as well. And again, I think for a lot of you, this period that you're coming out of, you could have even been coming out of a period of being sort of maybe in therapy or rehab, right? And now you're out of it and you have this very healthy, strong victory that you're having. Six of wands can oftentimes be a public victory too. So it could be that family, friends, you know, and colleagues are seeing you coming out of a particular situation victorious. And this is also giving you a great sense of strength, just as you're having to pull away and just take, you know, be in yourself a bit more. The magician is coming out over that um, King of Cups. So certainly, yeah, you are definitely a Don Juan, aren't you? <laughs> Libra, you're probably used to maybe even having lovers in your life or being in a love relationship, but you're certainly on the prowl and it's something that you're very good at. It's good at. It's interesting that the magician will come out over that King of Cups. It's like you are doing very, very well for yourself and I think you're feeling your confidence. The magician is one of the highest cards for skill and talent in the deck. So it's like you're feeling very good and certainly you're feeling like you're in a position where you want to get out there and get, you know, and perhaps uh, find that love of your life or even just get out there and date and, ha and be in relationships. This is a strong, just forward energy toward that. And temperance is coming in over the five of pentacles to remind you that remain tempered. <clears throat> if you go through with your ideas down here, like I said, the money will stabilize and you will come out of this five of pentacles much better than you ever were before, um, you know, as you work through it. And so temperance energy, be strong. Don't allow others outside of you to sort of uh, push your buttons. Finally, the reading, I <clears throat> excuse me, the reading winds up with Knight of Wands at the top of the deck. And this is really your final outcome for April, May, and June. And Libra, this just really indicates that your final outcome and your whole purpose during this period is for you to really restoke the passion of your life and your creativity, right? Um, you've gone through a strong healing period. You've come out of a very difficult period here. You're making the changes you need to make down here by moving away and cutting ties with the things. People, I always say people, places, and things that hold you back, cutting very real ties to them, you know, uh, disengaging yourself from them right, so that you can move forward. You're having a lot of self-realization and all of this is really sort of stoking your passion this month and stoking your desire to really begin to follow your ideals much more um, intentionally, right? The world is in your hands right here. So everything is working out for you in such a way that it's meant to be. Even the struggles. Remember, the struggles are part of it. And struggles are some of the, you know, we want to have struggles. We desire struggles. Because only through our desire to overcome struggles do we expand our consciousness. And so this is all tied into spirituality and our evolving ourselves, which presumably is why you're watching a tarot reading, right? So the thing is here, though, I think the reading is just really here to let you know that if you stay strong and you stay the course... Um, you have good things ahead for you during this period, right? If maybe now you don't have the passion you were feeling, you're worried about this sort of period of financial uh, uncertainty, right? You're worried about moving away and cutting these ties. Will you be able to survive them? This is your answer. Yes, you will. The money will come in. You will feel better here. Your best bet to handle these energies is to remain tempered. Make sure you remain calm and don't allow people to push your buttons, right? So this is your answer here in terms of people perhaps making you feel some kind of way because you're struggling or whatever. Temperance is letting you know, let that slide because what, as you go through your decisions here and you stay strong, you stay, stay the course and you maintain your confidence the same way as the fool maintains his confidence as he's entering a new stage, everything will come out for you. The six of pentacles is telling you that. You will have your another six, your six of wands, which is your victory. Your love prospect will come in. This is all the law of attraction because you're doing the right thing for yourself. You're making the right steps and you're choosing, uh, you know, the law of attraction in the sense that you're choosing harmony in your life and the way you want to live, the way you want to live will bring you the things you want. So this is all a really nice example of you just moving along through your pace in life, your sort of level right on the tree of life here with this fool into a new stage that's going to be really really good for you libra
I'm going to leave it at that. March, uh, excuse me, I was going to say March 22nd. I'm going to leave it at that, my lovely Libras. This is for April, May, and June. It's the second quarter of the year. Um, outlook for you. It's a general reading. It may resonate with you. It may not resonate with you, and that's fine. If you want to check out your other readings, your 2020 outlook for the year, your 2020 love outlook for the year, all of that is linked in the description. But for right now, Libra, I'm just going to say, have a wonderful next three months. Please be safe, uh, stay healthy, and stay kind to each other through this very, very difficult time in uh, 2020. All right, guys, I love you, and thank you for all your support. Bye-bye now.